my mother told me about carrying livestock and how they would make noise at night. They, evidently the state rooms were up on the top floor and what they call the saloon. I don't know where that was. But uh, in those days, there were a lot of small farmers. And that's when we had oysters in the row. And men, a lot of them would be African Americans, and they would work in the row, tonguing oysters in the wintertime, and have little gardens and little farms in the summertime. And they would carry tomatoes, all kind of vegetables, produce to the walls and ship them to Baltimore. Every little farm had a a milk cow, raised hogs for uh, meat, raised vegetables, raised hay and corn to feed horses with, because it wasn't in the tractors. And every year, a cow would have one calf to what we call freshen. That would start the milk flow again. And I remember when my daddy would have a calf that was probably 200 pounds. He'd put a tag around the neck and put it on a steamboat and ship it to a commission man in Baltimore who would take the calf off and set it. My mother raised chickens, turkeys, ducks, all kind of fowls. And one year she had some turkeys and I noticed she got somebody to help her. Kill the turkeys, dress them. And she had a lot of old uh, white feed bags that she washed. She wrapped the turkeys up and sew them up in these feed bags and put them on the steamboat and sent them to Baltimore for Thanksgiving and Christmas. 